Hello and welcome everybody to our third episode of our happy little survival adventure where we've built our lovely little starter base and this beautiful big cherry blossom tree. But we cannot build everything out of cherry blossom wood. So my plan for today is we are going to get ourselves a little more block variation and for that we are going on an adventure. I'm so excited. I hope you are as well. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. So for a good expedition, we want to be prepared accordingly. And I want to make use of a very cool new feature, which is the chest boat. Also, I'm really hoping to find some ocean ruins so we can find maybe some sniffer eggs and all the exciting new stuff. So for that, it isn't a must have, but in my case, I really want to do that, is to grab some cherry doors because they are probably going to help us not drowning. And also one thing which I want to craft, but I don't think I have the materials quite yet. Oh, we do have string. That's very good. So we take one piece of string. Then we need to smelt up our copper. And also we need some sticks, which we do have right here. I think one ingot should be enough. So we're able to craft ourselves a brush. And I hope I'm doing that right. No? Oh, it's a feather. Oh. Nice. Uh, we also need a lot of food. And I think it's time for us to actually craft an iron sword just so we are protected. I now have gathered everything I think I need for our expedition. Uh, as you can see, I gathered some doors for underwater just so we don't drown. I've got the bed, I made the brush, the cherry boat with the chest just so we can store everything, uh, some spare wood, the shears, the crafting table and also the baked potatoes just so we don't starve. And with that, I think it's now time to explore and find some new blocks. So I think we're just gonna head south for now and see where this takes us. I am so excited to finally go exploring and get some new blocks. And of course, I'm not really sure what we're about to find, but I am really hoping for some sniffer eggs and I'm really excited to try out the new brush feature in general. Maybe some pottery shirts, shards, I don't know, something like that. Oh, a river. Maybe that leads to an ocean. Look at us go. This looks so beautiful. This is so stunning. So peaceful. Wait, is it an ocean? Yes, we've reached an ocean, everyone. Maybe we'll just head along the coastline here, hoping for warm biomes, because I think the sniffer eggs only or have a higher chance of spawning in warm ocean ruins. So we are definitely keeping our eyes peeled for that and i'm also really hoping for a shipwreck of some sort because they can have very good loot and it's one of the rare places where you can actually get the moss block and you might have noticed by now i'm kind of obsessed with moss <laughs> so <gasps> a shipwreck i'm so excited <gasps> we maybe we find a treasure map we can go treasure hunting let's go oh it looks like a huge boat Ah, there must be some good loot in it. Let me just quickly mark from which direction we came. Yeah, don't forget the doors. Have a snack. Okay, now we're ready. Let's jump in. Trying to get some treasure. <gasps> A chest. Oh, there are feathers. See, I didn't have to kill the chicken. Treasure bag. That's perfect. We're gonna check that out. Oh, there's another one. Depth Strider. Oh, the moss block. Perfect. 
Let's oh and coal. Very good. Those things, we don't need those things. We have a moss block. We are going to store the moss block and the feathers quite safely in there. Let's just change those and then we can put the iron boots into the chest just so it's safe. The treasure map, we're going to check that out in a second. I just want to, oops, head back down and see if I can find the treasure chest because there might be a treasure chest just in here. The armor trims. I completely forgot about the armor trims. Oh my god. Yes, here we go. Oh, and so much iron. <gasps> I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I forgot. I got so excited. I almost drowned. Okay. Iron nuggets. Gold ingots. And our first emerald. Yeah, I think that's it. We have marked out where we came from. So we can now head around following the coastline along and we can check out the treasure map. I don't know how to follow treasure maps. <laughs> um, okay, let's head on in this direction and see if the treasure map actually, if anything changes. Oh, look at Savannah. We're definitely getting warmer into warmer biomes and I can grab myself some saplings and a village. We have a savannah village. That's so cool. Okay, I think we can sleep. We can stay the night. Maybe the villagers have some sort of hotel. <laughs> that one looks like a hotel. Hello. Do you live here? Okay. Hmm. Also occupied. Maybe we should just camp outside. Let's just quickly take a look around if there's anything we need. Hello, pig. It's a huge village. So many buildings. More bookshelves. Oh, I'd love to take those. I take those. I'll take those. There's nothing you can do. A chest! Some bread, grass, nuggets. We don't want to clutter our inventory because actually I'm here for the saplings. <laughs> and while we are waiting for the leaves to decay, we quickly check out the other homes of the villagers. Oh, some emeralds. More bread. Oh, here are saplings. I'm sure there were saplings before in the chests and I just didn't see them. A leather cap. And pants. I mean... We look a little bit hideous. But that's okay. As long as we're protected. Um, We have four saplings. We could leave now. Oh! But a smithing table is great. Maybe I'll just take your smithing table. A cartographer table? Why not? Compasses. Just some more saplings. Oh, also there's... <gasps> Look, there's a mesa. Oh, and a mine shaft. Ooh. As much as I want to check that out right now, I think we're not quite fitted for that right now we're not really equipped as much as i would like to be so we're just gonna take a mental note of that and then we'll come back later at some point because i do want myself some terracotta Ooh, and i think i'm gonna take some of the cactus if it's not destroying itself there we go now let's just head back to our boat, just so we can store away what we've gathered so far. Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and now I think... Ooh, is that a mangrove biome? I know where we're going to head next. I'm so excited about the mangrove wood. It has such an amazing color and I think it's going to fit perfectly with our village. 
I think I'm just gonna park my boat over here. And it's already getting dark again. Now let's see. We do need the proper jewels. Like that's uh, the special name for the saplings. But look at the wood color. Oh, I wonder if that fits with the cherry blossom wood. I wonder if we can make it work. All right, so now we have six proper jewels, also three lily pads, which are very cute. But I think I'm just gonna take some of this mud as well, because you can do just so much with it. You can make packed mud bricks and packed mud, and they've got some amazing colors we can work with. It's just like the stone bricks, but it brings in a little more warm feeling in general. So that's definitely what I want. Perfect. Now let's put away our loot. And now maybe we can check up on the map. Oh, the dot, the dot is getting smaller. Maybe we, we should do that on our way home. But I'm really hoping to get across a warm ocean ruin or something just so we can use our brush for the first time. I see a guy down there. Maybe that's a good sign. Let's see. Hello, do you come from ocean ruins? Can you show me the way? No. I think he was lost too. Okay, no problem. Ooh! Is that a jungle? A jungle would be perfect because I think then we have all the different wood types. From the overworld, at least. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, great. Let's go grab some jungle saplings. And we can also get some bamboo. Um. Wait, is... Is that it? Is that the whole jungle? Let's go check it out. From what I can see, this must be the smallest jungle I've ever found in my craft. It's tiny. I mean, there, there's mangrove biome. Over there is mangrove biome. There's the ocean. And over there is even more mangrove biome. And we have this tiny little jungle in the middle. Oh, we're so lucky. <laughs> even, there's even some bamboo. That's great. I'm gonna take that. Let's chop down this jungle tree so we can get some new saplings and then we can head on and maybe find some ocean ruins oh i really miss my iron axe drop it drop it drop it yes and we got our first jungle sapling that's a great success Oh, and the cocoa beans, of course, in case we want to make cookies. I could go for a cookie. All right, my axe is almost dead and we have four jungle saplings, which is not much, but it should be enough if we're careful. So let's go back to our boat and now I think it's time for the sniffers. What's this? Is it? Is that it? It's the ocean ruins. Let's go. Let's go kill some mobs first before they kill us. I will not give you the chance. Hello. Please go away. I do not like you guys here. I am taking over. Not a little shell. Would you mind dropping that? Yeah. I think now it's about time to keep our eyes peeled for any sand that might look a little suspicious. I'm gonna leave the door here and maybe I'm gonna put the torches in my offhand just so we can see a little bit better. There's a chest. That's great, so let's go around here. Also, if you crouch on a magma block, you actually 
can breathe. I don't know how that makes sense, but um, it's Minecraft logic, so we don't ask. <laughs> I don't think this sand is suspicious, so I think we can clear that out. And then we can... Ouch. Then we can open the chest. And there is another buried treasure map. We're gonna take that. And then we go back on the magma block, just so we don't drown. Okay. Now let's see. Is there anything suspicious yeah this one looks odd it looks a little different from the usual sand blocks so i assume if we take out our brush and right click it we get an emerald out of that and the sand turns just to regular sand so that's basically what we're going to do What do we get? So, we got an iron axe. Oh, we should have come here first. I didn't know you could get iron tools out of that. What's that? Is it another iron axe? <laughs> really? So wheat. That's okay. What do we have here? Looks like coal. Is it a shirt? <gasps> oh, respecting the remnants. Which one is it? Shelter. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. We can do some decorations. So let's see. It looks like another shirt. Is it another one? Anger. Nice. So now we have two shirts. Let's see. A third shirt. Card. And is it the fourth shard? Oh, it's the snored one. Ah, oh, well now we can make ourselves a pot. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm so excited to do that. Oh, a chest. Didn't see that. <gasps> a golden helmet. Why not? Please give me the egg. <sighs> it's more coal, right? Over here. Give me the egg. <laughs> Another emerald. Ooh, grass can grow on suspicious sand. What do we get? The last hope. What's that? More coal! No! Well, I don't see any more suspicious sand. So we might have to look for another ruin. But that's okay. I like adventuring, but nonetheless, we found the shirts. Oh, oh, we are so full already. Unfortunately, in the last ocean ruin were no sniffer eggs, but that's not a problem because we did get a lot of loot out of it and we're still in the warm ocean biome. So who knows? Maybe we can find another location. Oh, there's a shipwreck. It looks like we haven't been here. Amazing. We got our doors. So let's jump in. Whoa. Whoa. How is this possible? <gasps> oh my god. That scared the living out of me. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Where's my sword? Did I lose my sword? This is just wrong. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe if we sneak over here, maybe, <gasps> more armor trims, suspicious stew. Okay, let's get back into the door. How on earth is this possible? Maybe if you're just gonna put down another door. And now there's a dolphin in here? Uh, I am not prepared for the situation. Um. Hello? Uh, can I take the treasure map? Thanks. And the books. Do you guys live together? Like, you look like roommates. You're an 
odd couple, I must say. This is probably the strangest thing I've seen my whole life. A creeper and a dolphin chilling together in a shipwreck. No one's gonna believe this. So much iron. Oh my god, okay, we are going to take the iron and then we skedaddle out of here because the creeper is creeping me out. Let's just mark the shipwreck just so we know that we've been here. After our very strange encounter with the creeper and the dolphin, I managed to find another ocean ruin. But I had a certain issue with our food situation. Should have taken the hay bales from the village. Aw, oh, there's some salmon. Maybe we can get that. Oh, cod is also fine. <gasps> A trading card. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. I do not want to deal with that. It's horrible. Okay, okay. Oh, I think the village must be somewhere around here because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now let's quickly grab those hay bales just so we can make ourselves some bread. And then we will come back and we'll get ourselves the sniffer egg. Hello, guys. It's me again. Just coming for your hay bales. Thank you very much. I want more. Okay, now we're good. We won't go hungry for a bit, I guess. Thank you, village. See you. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we can find the ocean ruins. And maybe a sniffer egg. A golden apple! That's something new! Uh, let's see what's around here. Some more sand. Yes, yes, we do need the sand. <gasps> it's the egg! Finally, we got the egg! I can't believe it. I. We have a sniffer egg. That's amazing. We need another one. Otherwise it will be lonely. So let's see. Maybe we can find another one. <gasps> I'm so happy we found the egg. Is there any more? So I didn't even see the portal. Guys, I don't think I I can find another sniffer egg. I've been raiding like three different warm ocean ruins and none of them had any sniffer eggs. Nonetheless, we managed to get at least one egg. So I'd say let's take this as a win and um, make our way back home just so we can secure what we have gathered all so far. And then we will see, we, we can work from there. One thing I definitely didn't think of, neither the ocean nor the river lead up to our home. So we have to somehow find a way to transport all the things we have gathered, which is a lot, into our home. So that's gonna be a fun challenge, but first of all we gotta get home so let me just row my boat hoping i remembered the way correctly and i will catch up with you once i found my way all right everybody we've made it home safe and sound i have gathered all the materials all the amazing stuff in this little corner here i even put down our exploration boat 
and in this chest is all of the amazing things we've gathered on our journey. We have found three buried treasure maps, but two of them were the same and that is why I put one of the duplicates on the wall to make it look a little more adventurous around here. We didn't go for a treasure hunt, but we can do that the next time. And then, of course, the smithing templates, which are very, very cool. And I'm so much looking forward to try these out. We have gathered an amazing amount of new materials we can work and build with. We have so many different wood types now. We even have cactus and the moss block, which I'm so excited to use from now on. And then we even found the pottery shirts, which are so cool. And actually, I really just want to try them out right now. We found the angler shirt, the shelter one, and finally the snort shirt. And I think I'm going to use the angler just one more because we have just so many of them. And now we can make ourselves the decorated pot. I think I'm going to put it down this way so we can see all the different sides of it. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so looking forward to just find so many more decorated shirts so we can make so many pots and scatter them all around here. I think they just make for a perfect decorative block. And it kind of reflects the journey we actually had because we went underwater and we fought so many drowned mobs. Uh, we did find shelter in the Savannah village, which was very kind of them to take us in. And then finally, of course, we found the sniffer egg. So I think the pot is perfect as a kind of souvenir from our adventure. And then, of course, we finally found the sniffer egg. And I am so excited. It's a little bit unfortunate we only found one, but I think it's definitely a good start. And I can't wait to actually put it down and get our little baby sniffer. But I really want to do that once we've built a little hut for the baby, like just a little place where it can feel at home. So I think that's something we are going to do maybe in the next episode or I don't know, we have now so many possibilities with so many new materials to work with. I think we've set ourselves up for a lot of good things to come. I'm just so happy to be here and to be doing all this. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and giving me your time and company on our journey. And I hope you had fun exploring all the cool features and this amazing seed and i am looking forward to seeing you the next time until then take care of yourselves be good to yourselves and i will be seeing you in the next episode goodbye